And I'm back. More Persona 4 Golden. Took some time off camera, get some new Personas. We already have this for Fire and Endure Dark. And an Invigorate and Growth. But also Null Physical, which is very handy. Got Strength Physical and other cool stuff. This is a strong Persona doing all sorts of strength-based junk. And Power Charge is going to be really freaking handy if I level it up. Um, healer plus some elemental coverage. And... I don't, don't really need this anymore now that I've got this. So I'm going to leave that off. This will be nice. Reduced chance of KO from darkness. Cool. And this is pure debuff shit. So... Strong attacks, but more in the line of just extra junk to do, so I'm good there. Um, but yes, Nanako has been kidnapped, and we're going to save her. And Nato is in our party for the first time. So we'll talk about that while we climb up. It's so quiet. What's this bad feeling I'm getting? Ah, oh, Kochan, just hang in there. We'll save you. There's an enemy to light. Let's go. Whoops. I couldn't defeat it. Um, your weaknesses. It seems weak to ice. It's oh. Man, that is so handy. So Naoto's whole thing is elemental coverage. And in the original game, it was all insta-death and Megadola and stuff. They changed her around, as they did Chie. Chie got a few different benefits, a little more boo coverage, but mostly just... mostly just doing attacks and she's still primarily an attacker based persona uh, uh, user Nato was always filling out the last slots with interesting stuff like insta death and whatnot careful that enemy's immune to win this one's strong watch yourselves hmm. Soda. You ain't immune to that. There, got it. It's weak to dark. Well, let's take care of that, shall we? Before I can use last resort on my ass. Yeah. Now what could you be weak? This one's strong. I don't want to use darkness on all of them. Got rid of most of them. Two defeated so far. Don't think. So Nato is much better now that she can cover every element, and a lot of that's going to have to do with the bike rides. I'm going to have to do that. I mentioned a couple episodes back that the bike rides give five different skills, 
And if I don't have it, then, oh man, then you can grab it. The best of those, the best of those is the extra elemental coverage. Um, everybody else kind of has a good, like, blend of things, but... What's also helpful is it's single target, so I'm not stuck getting blown up. Because what if somebody repels all the fire while you're doing damage with fire? It can be kind of frustrating. Innovation, goddammit. Ow! Five enemies oh. left. Hang in there. Well, so much for that plan. But anyway, you know, right, get him. Get him. Killed some of them. You're so cool, senpai. Ow! 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 Senpai's acting weird and quite beat it. Just two. Aha! This fight's not over. Here we go. Awesome! Hey, don't hula hoop me! Beanie! Hey. Oh, let's, let's get that. It's new! Go home! Yeah, go home! You too! <laughs> But, really, Naoto is in that situation, and I mentioned this in the last dungeon, where a lot of her storyline and story arc is backloaded. They do have to spend a lot of time giving her a lot to give her some character, because she waited so long to be a party member. Um, and while I understand that... I, I do think people could have figured out right away that, oh yeah, she's totally a girl. You know, and they don't really do anything new with that concept. Like, as soon as you figure out, oh yeah, she's totally a girl. Like, they're playing for laughs in most cases. Like, oh, she straps her boobs or anything like that, you know. That so it's not perfect. But, uh, again, Naoto being a detective and being helpful in the case and all these other things give her extra dimension that is beneficial. And I've said before, I don't think... I don't think Haru got in her story arc, and I went back to comparing that stuff still. But it's, a, it's also about how does Naoto fit and I'm not a fan of a lot of the jokey stuff, you know, the the Hot Springs episode and junk, but it's okay. But it could have been done better. Like, it's there for laughs and jokes. But I'm also not worried. It's not the worst thing. What I do find interesting, though, is the idea that even amidst that stupid cutscene that is, again, a cliché, they still manage to pull a lot of stuff from that. Like, not, like, Naoto remembered that Nanako said, I don't talk to strangers or I don't open the door for strangers. These are little things that she didn't have to bring out. She didn't have to mention could have just been a useless scene for the sake of having a useless scene, you know. 
Oh. Now Tokun's acting weird. Quick! Now's your chance. Run! Yeah, I'll run away. Enervation doesn't leave me a lot of choice. But the other aspect to it is that Naoto has always been the fill. The enemy's weak to darkness. It's doomed. <laughs> I don't know why she says that. Doomed. There, got it. It's weak to darkness. Four of them. You need to thin them out. Go, Sukuna Higana! And really, that's what Naoto initially was. But I still think in battle, she's still able to do that, but with a little bit more efficiency, because now that she can cover any element, there's so much else that she can provide. She is, again, not the best in boss fights, but not lacking like she was before. Ready to go. Just say the word. Okay, understood. Let's end this. And, and Naoto's real benefit is that she can fit anywhere and do anything. That versatility is something that Yosuke had for a while, but in a different way. In more of a support role. Kind of like Akihiko from Persona 3 was. This is m way more offense related because I, I'm not a big fan, and I'll, I'll show it here in just a sec. Um, let's go back to status. Um, Tetracarn. I'm not a big fan of Tetracarn because it is an intensively. It, it's an SP intense skill that doesn't leave a lot of leeway. Because yes, having a barrier is great. It's one time not getting hurt. But it's a it's a high cost. What it used to be was a full barrier for the party, but they retooled it because it can be OP. Um It's a strong one. Don't lower your guard. But near the end of the game, you should be allowed to have whatever you want with whatever skills you want, right? Weaknesses. Looks like it's weak to ice. Nice. And as you can see, with this party, outside of electricity skills for now, I'm pretty much full bore, and I've got coverage everywhere, because that was the biggest thing. And as much as I like... I like support skills, I do, and stuff like, um... Stuff like, um... Tarukaja, Rakukaja, you know, the stuff that buffs your stats. Risei can kind of take care of that now. Um, which renders those kind of more only for bosses, really. That's when I'm only going to care about them, is boss fights. So I don't need buffing skills. I don't need somebody doing pure support. Not that there's anything wrong with support skills, but when you consider that Naoto can turn from support into just completely doing damage to everything, that flexible damage diversity is something that is really strong, even though her stat base isn't the best. Careful, it's immune to Yeah, I miss me! I mean, it sucks for now, enemies, okay? but... <laughs> nice. But I mean, look at that. 
the benefits that Nato brings, even though it's very SP intense to use her. Never lose your cool. It ends up paying off in the end because I'm not using extra turns trying to figure out what the enemies are doing. Now that you can, now that you add on Reese's extra buffs. I, hope you're prepared. I mean, wow. The fact that Reese can just snap a weakness out of thin air and just say, "I know what I'm doing." The physical, I don't care. Like, do it. I'll just knock it out and take it away. The enemies have fallen. Let's finish them off. Okay, understood. Here goes. Because now you have a jack of all trades character for damage. You have a jack of all trades character with even more diversity in uh, Narukami, who can do pretty much anything. Fire user and healer, and then ice and attacker in Shein. So there's not really a lot that this party can't overcome, and especially once I get the other two spell uh, spell types for our, for Naoto via the bike rides. That's huge. Fire is its weakness. All right. Oh, ghastly wheel. Fuck you. All right, I'm gonna have to worry about those guys. Don't give up now, okay? Well, let's get rid of you. Enemy down. Well nice done. Move, senpai. Enemy down. Let's ready to go. <laughs> let's get rid of them. Yeah! I'm good with more strength. Yes! I leveled up! Yeah! Soul drops, not great at this point. Wow, 400, damn. And then you add in Naoto's beneficial parts to the plot, because for pretty much the entire game, outside of Yukiko to an extent, despite her obliviousness, she was the smartest one. But she's also the, le Whoa, the least... Strong, um, weak to light. Ooh. She's also the least assuming, and... She gets involved in plot, but doesn't, like, know the minutia of all the information. The same way that Naoto just innately knows what's going on. And despite making the mistakes with the Na Nanako situation... It's a strong one. Someone finish this one off. Come on. The idea that she's just no-nonsense. She's not there to be funny. She doesn't have to be funny. Everybody else is a stupid idiot. But everybody can play against her... kind of... not obliviousness, but... straightforward nature a little bit. And it works out. It's quite tenacious! Come on! Take this! Beat it. It's over. There we go. Mar Got it.
Hooray! I like getting more stuff for free. Because I enjoy the balance that this entire party brings to each other. You've got your goofballs, you've got your oblivious people, uh -oh, got your dumb you people, you've got your angsty people, Just what I'd and then sometimes you need someone like Naoto who doesn't really take a lot of shit from people, but is the butt of a joke, but it can also like look at the stupid and laugh sometimes. And, and, and again, I don't know if that's specifically why Naoto... I want to say Naoto is the most popular character other than Narukami. Narukami gets the whole face of the franchise thing going on, but Naoto, by and large, if I remember correctly, is the character everybody remembers from this game. And it is a thrill, always knowing that a lot of it has to do... I think it also has to do with the fact that she's a character that, again, was built up. Uh-oh. Yeah! It's a character that was built up before she joined the party. We're like... 70, 75% of the way through the game, give or take. And it does, has felt like Naoto's always kind of been there in some form or fashion. So it doesn't really feel wrong. I mean, yeah, you could look at the game box art and whatever and already know, oh yeah, they're gonna join the party, it's easy. It's easy, it's obvious, but still, you never know what that's going to feel like. You never know how people are going to react to a character. And by and large, most of the people in this party have always been positive. Careful, that enemy's immune to wind. Reset scan! Reset scan! Love it. Strong. And so many people weak to... Uh, again, a lot of the weaknesses to light and dark are because Naoto used to be the light and dark user. So you can see the benefits of just using her right off. You never lose your cool... It's quite tenacious. Suck. Suck. Get wrecked. That was nice. Jeez, Jason, crit. Looking good. Boom. Concentrate. You're wide open. Enemy down. Great work, Yukiko Senpai. Damn it. You suck. It got back up. Defeat it fast. She is some Ow. Hang in there. <laughs> Don't give suck. up now, okay? Also, I think Naoto isn't weak to any particular thing, too, which is also helpful. Are you alright? Naoto Kun's busting heads and looking cool. Bam! We're running through them. No, nothing else. I'll just get some money. My skills have been honed. I don't want this. Blight. Okay, so that's physical and poison. Not bad. So many chest keys and crack wheat. Love it. Chewing cell, really good. I think that's like a hundred. 
and 100 SP. Boom. Really nice. Because the main issue is that there are some party members in 3 and 5 that aren't as well liked. But I don't think you get that as much in Persona 4. I think across the board, everybody is liked well enough. Even though, again, I would say Risei, Chie, Kanji, and Naoto. Yukiko kind of just, eh. Yosuke is unlikable, but some people like him because he gets his comeuppance. Um... When the worst you could say is Yosuke is a prick some of the time, or Teddy, like Yosuke and Teddy are probably the weakest. But even they get a lot to work with. Yosuke is the de facto main lead because Narukami doesn't talk. But you know people like Yosuke. Teddy would be less infuriating if he was less... Sl not slutty. Um... Um, pervy. Less pervy. I wish he was less pervy, but what can you do? This would get me a free heal. Let me do this. This one's strong. One enemy to go. Keep it up. Okay, um. Oh yours. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, it's quite too Suck balls. This is why this is helpful. Die, bitch. Fuck. Hopefully, I can get him with this. Oh, yeah. Damn right we did, and Magatsu Zandrite, that is huge. That is one of those like higher end things that you need to get for those uh, exchange weapons, and some of those are pretty strong. There's Dekarabia with Fire Amp, huge. Uh, fire Amp strengthens by 50, yes please. I don't really need resist physical anymore. I've got re I've got null physical, so Dekarabia is pretty much done. So I can move him on to something else. Oh, did I level up? Damn right you did. Let's see if I can get to level four. It might be asking a lot. I just spent a lot from Megadola. Awareness note. What the fuck? What's that? Lower chance of pre. I mean, that's fine, but. Oh, damn. <laughs> Give me that. Um. Oh, yeah. Nato doesn't have any defense. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. Alright. in the mood to fuck around too much, but... Wait, what the heck is Nato wearing? Cat girl costume? Something. I guess we'll find out. Looky! Hmm, watch it. That one's immune to fire. Yay, scared. Is its weakness. Okay. Yep, total cat troll. Uh -oh. Man, I used it on the wrong one. Shit. 
Probably immune to fire, but I don't care. Don't tell me it's not working. That did too much damage. Damn. Wind break. You suck. Now what could you be weak? It's weak to win. Okay, good. Much better. Um. <laughs> She's pissed. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get through level four. Enemy defeated. Oh, you're a mi Don't waste your. She's definitely running out. Well, now Toku, oh, you amazing. never lose your cool. <gasps> Someone finish this one off. Uh oh. Ow! I couldn't quite beat it. Last one. Go for it. I think I could get into this. <laughs> Enemy radar would be nice. Alright, let's change out the outfits now. Stamina, so I'm gonna need to get going pretty quick. Benefit is I beat Nauto's dungeon in like three episodes, so that would be nice to do here as well. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, but we'll see. Three or four, give or take. Hmm. Looks like that's it. Easy. Nice. Huh? I can hear her. This must be Nanako-chan's voice. She's saying something, but it's too quiet to make out. Find where it's coming from. Uh, I can do that next episode, I think. Um... All right. Let's see what fun junk I got. Robbie is finished, so I can mess around with that. Nara Simha is also pretty much done. Triglave, I want power charge, but it doesn't seem like I keep. I don't use him or. I mean, most of these are pretty much done anyway, so it's just a matter of what I can get. Let's go with that. No, there's a lot of things here I want, though. Thank you. 
Yeah, might as well just keep those going because they're pretty fucking nice. Um, I'm missing fire ramp, but I'm not worried about it because that's not a thing that I can get, but I can always get it back. But invigorate and growth are always interesting. And Megadol is going to help for special enemies. We saw where I could beat it. Null physical is something I'm always going to want to keep. So, yeah, pretty nice. Oh, Again, you're kind of getting, you're starting to see where weighing options is messing with things a little bit. Because I want to keep passing certain things on. This guy has less elemental coverage, so it's going to be a frustration, but there's a lot of good stuff here still. Generate 2 is kind of eh. There's Resist Dark, which is helpful for him, personally. Um... Not bad. And then go to Endure Dark. Okay, he just goes straight to Endure Dark. Fair enough. Kind of all across the board here, but I'm not left with much. But I get my, I get my uh, Zeo skills back at least. So that's the one I was worried about. Now I didn't lose it, so should be all good, unless. kind of across the board here. Um, I have re I have null physical, so I don't need repel physical right now. I'm gonna keep this for now, because I'm gonna want that Mazio. Unless... Let me see. There's a few good things in here. Um... Wait, I don't... I'm 
got Repel Physical, I don't need Counter Strike. I guess that's something, I don't need everything else. It's a little off, but... It's a little bit off, but still useful, I think. And now I have Agi Dive, which is still useful. Alright, good. Because why not? Now I can wait for another level up to get more stuff. But yeah, there we go. But yeah, now you can start seeing where I'm trying to weigh everything that I have here. Um, it's not perfect, per se. But I still have decent elemental coverage. And I've got everything that I want to use. So it's still pretty varied, and I still got some of the higher end stuff that I want here. So, yeah. There we go. Uh, next time, we'll keep on going with more of Heaven, and I'll talk about Nanako next time.